are you doing today? Joseph here. Well, I'm going to do kind of a serious video today, I am. Um, the old, uh, bought an alternator from Mac, man. Paid about $900 Canadian for this alternator. It's a 370 amp alternator. Now, I don't know if I got a Friday or a dud, but I had it for about a month and it started making a lot of noise. So I called Mac, man. They seemed to think it was probably bearing or something in it. So I got the bearing. I asked to, you know, for warranty on it. And it was going to cost me more than it would to ship it back to get it fixed, right? So I got it fixed. I got a new bearing put in it. Canadian bearing. Um, lasted for about another month. Started making noises again. Well, I got my cousin, which rebuilds. He's an electrician. He rebuilds electric motors for a living. Um, we changed both bearings. I got about another, I don't know, three months out of it. Started making noise again. And I don't know if it's an alignment issue with this one, if it's a faulty one. It has to be an alignment issue. Or it's too much heat. It's not, it's just destroying bearings. Doesn't matter what bearings I put in it. I put the best bearings you can buy in it. It's obviously a bearing failure. You know, so it's not a product you make the bearings. You don't make the bearings. Like I said, for bearing failure three times in the amount of time I've had this is just there's obviously something internally going wrong. I get bearing failures; it can happen. You can get a bad bearing and whatever, but that three bad bearings in a row, I don't think that's possible. But uh, it just quit on me the other day. Now, there is a few marks on it because I tried to get a puller on it, and I said to hell with it, just try to pull the bearing off, and we couldn't get it off. The stator was wrecked anyways, so this is from trying to get it off a wreck stator. But uh, this is a stator. Look at the bearing. Okay? I'm not running it any differently than anybody else would. The shaft is actually melted bent. Bent these down and try to get that bent you know, bearing off and it, it won't come off. The stator's junk, okay? So I don't know what's going on with MacMan, but I'm not very impressed with their product. Like I haven't even got a year and a half out of this alternator. In a van I don't even drive in the winter and I only drive occasionally. Like it, it's just, that's just unacceptable. Um, here's the rest of the alternator. You can see where inside that started rubbing the internals. Um, uh, I hopefully, MacMan sees this video because um, if they want to stand behind their product, I bought this. Uh, I bought this alternator from Down for Sound. Jonathan's a great guy. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm gonna share this to Jonathan's to page because uh, he sells them, right? So I just wanted to be aware of it. See if there's any other issues like that. Very disappointed, boys. I just don't get it, man. And, you know, I know it's obviously a bearing failure. You know, so it's not a product you make bearings. You don't make the bearings. The amount of time I've had this is just, there's obviously something internally going wrong. I get bearing failures. It can happen. You can get a bad bearing and whatever. But that three bad bearings in a row, I don't think that's possible. I really don't. You know, you, you got to do something for me here because $900 for an alternator isn't a drop in a bucket and I'm sure they're supposed to last longer than maybe, honest to God, I'm not kidding you, probably 40 hours runtime, maybe, on this alternator. It's been rebuilt, put new bearings in it three times. He's going to send it back, but it was going to cost me 200 some dollars to send it back and they told me, no, you're better off just to get bearings in it and they sent me a new one of these once. Look at it, it's melted right to, it was melted right to the shaft. Um, front bearing, still good. It's just the rear bearing. You know, seven, a 370 amp alternator, it's not a drop in a bucket for some people, you know what I mean? Like, what's really going on? I wanna know, because now this thing is just a big $900 paperweight, and I'm not too impressed, Mac, man, to be honest with you. I'm not too impressed, boys. So if there's anything you can do for me, you know, I'll definitely make another video if you uh, help me out with this alternator, but uh, 
get a hold of me or whatever. Or if you don't care, I know. Know that you don't care if you don't get a hold of me. You know, but uh, either get a hold of me or I'm just going to spread the word of what I think of this, this alternator. And I'm going to go over. I'm very, 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 very disappointed in this alternator. You know, and there's nothing I did wrong. Like, I mounted the alternator with the two mount holes it comes with. The alignment was true. The belt wasn't over tight. They didn't bench test this one very well before they sent it to me. There's no way to fix that. No way to fix that. I just wanted to put this out there and just let you know what I think. Sorry how to do this, but, you know, what's really going on? What is really going on? So anyways, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day.